last time on Chasing Me. So, everybody has been wondering who is this new person I've been hiding all over social media, and of course, it was not lyric anymore. What the shit going? Shit is going amazing. I'm actually thinking about doing what I'm going to do. A Christmas tour drive and a month makeover. You can say so. Well. Hey, everybody! Oh! I'm Hugh. I'm Juanita. And we are Show the Host. And how are you tonight? I'm very you good. You look amazing. I appreciate it. So, what's been going on? Um, a lot. You know that I am no longer managing Nico. There was a really big blow up um, last year between he and I. So what do you have going on? Balancing the back and forth with my mom. So what's been going on with you two? I haven't seen you guys in a minute. I just kind of wanted to bring everybody together and see what everybody had going on. So basically I do denim, custom denim, um, things like that. Like I am doing a model call in a couple of days. I fuss with you. Oh my God. God. Basically, I brought y'all here today because, you know, Christmas is coming up. Usually every year I try to give back as much as I can. I used to work with autistic and all the other, you know, organizations, especially with the kids. You know. I know I'm pushing time, but I really want to make this happen because people really don't understand how much it means to me. The thing is, like, so I'm around them one-on-one -on -one individually. I'm cool with each of them. You got Scott, Master Motherfucking Splitter. We got Devon. Donatello. Hello, fabulous. I'm so happy to be here. Um, next Sunday, I'm doing a uh, Christmas event. I have somebody that can do the catering. His name is Levon. Okay. The hell? No, he every caters. He just don't cater food. Oh, um, God. He was cheating on my best friend. My best friend found out about it. Put it out on Facebook. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> stop. I'm supposed to be having a sit down with him soon. Let him know that I need him to cook a spaghetti dinner. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. This is Jalen Aaron. I was like, um, I would like for you to get my call when you get a chance. Um, I see you didn't show up to the meeting today, so I was trying to see exactly what happened. Um, but get my call. Yeah. So one thing you don't do with the boss's time is play with his time, play with his money, and play with his time again. So for me to invite you, that was a lot of time. You didn't show up. That was a waste of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to contact one person that I do know that's very close to you, I think. And we're gonna see if I can get you on the phone. But since you don't wanna answer, trust me, you can't run away from me too long, honey, because I'm all over Atlanta and you're all over my social media looking at my DMs. And you're all over my Insta story. So honey, trust me, I will find you either way of you. Hello, Kim, how are you? So I have a question. Do you know where your um, brother-in-law is? Do you mean, um, the hell? I don't know. I think she's at work, right? This what time is it? You know she at work until like uh, 10, 11-ish? So maybe that explains why she didn't show up to our meeting today? Girl, she, she gotta make her coins. Like, she's not a boss. She can't make a check. She's making her coins. Oh my God. Well, can you relay the message that I was here waiting for at least two hours and that um she owes me? Well, you know a way. You know a way to get the, to get the message to her. Whatever you gotta do, just let her know Nini. Just let her know Nini's looking for her. And you know, I was trying to get her some coins for cooking. So apparently, a bitch don't want to show off her catering service and get a paycheck. So just relay the message. For you not to show up really shows that you are a scary ass bitch. You blocked me. You wouldn't answer the phone. So it's like, can we really get past this situation? Because at this point, you're still holding on to the past with you. And the past is the past. How you ain't say you was moving forward. Honesty hurts when you're getting 
know the I gotta say I miss the way you need me, yeah Why you ain't say you was getting bored? Why you ain't say I was falling short? How you leave me out so far away? So while I've been away, you know, I have not been contacting anybody. I kind of found some crazy news about myself last year. I was recently diagnosed with cancer. Um, it was colon cancer from what the doctors told me. And it's just, it was an emotional thing. I have a lot of family members that died from cancer. My uncle recently passed. But with him, he was just stubborn. Like he didn't want to go to the hospital. He didn't want to go get checked out. Mm. And then when they was trying to make him eat that he didn't want to eat. He was just right. He was just, he was Fighting just stubborn. Fighting really trying to help himself right. in a way. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I did out of here. I'm sorry, y'all. How, how have your body been feeling like, you know, like? I mean, my body's fine. I feel like I'm getting a little more weight than oh, that's the first time. Because that first, like... Who was it? When I first, like, before, I was like, my regular weight is like 140, mm -hmm. 140 something. And then it Who dropped was it last time? 123. It was 126 today. Mm -hmm. oh. Usually in the LGBT community, anytime somebody lose weight, they always saying, Oh, he got this, HIV positive, he has AIDS, but that is not the case. Just to hear things from other people saying that, you know, I lost weight, my weight is like shedding, I'm getting smaller. I'm already a small guy, so I get kind of insecure about it anyways. Cameron said the biggest thing that he didn't like was people saying like, oh, you lose weight, you lost weight. I'm just like, yeah, and you know, when that. people say that, especially like in this whole gay stuff, they think they you got some, some type yeah. of disease or mm -hmm. some shit like that. And I was just like, that's emotional. That it's hard. like you might not like the criticizing yeah. and stuff like that. It like it get to you, but they you don't, don't show know. It. Right. At the same time, it's kind of like right exactly. because you don't know, you probably shouldn't. And, be and, that's, and that's the main. Yeah. That's, the right. that's the crazy part. That's the main focus they focus on. Is it has to be an STD. It can't right. be nothing else. It can't be mm -hmm. any type of other sickness. And that's mm -hmm. all. It's just like you know what. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like I was, uh, I was just telling Nguyen, it was like, I'm still kind of nervous. Right. Or whatever. You I am, I'm trying now. I'm doing it now, because at first when she was in here, she, she was talking to me, my heart was racing. So just telling my mom about me having cancer was a very emotional time. She lost her younger brother to cancer. Just seeing her, you know, crying and Things like that, it just really kind of touched me because I don't like to see my mom hurt and I don't want her to feel like that she's losing me. So, it was... It was a tough time, but I had to let her know we're going to make it through it and she don't have anything to worry about. All right, well, you need to my, um, my what you call. All right, love you. Love you too. Bye, right. Mom. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. <laughs> So today, I'm catching up with an old friend of mine. Listen, the last time he was at my radio show, the comments and the feedback that I was getting was not too positive. Today, we have Jalen Aaron with us right here at Q in the Street. So I just want to sit down with him and kind of see what's going on. I was eating this diva for breakfast. Of course. <laughs> what's going on? How are you? Fine. What's up? What's up? I got something to drink. You got me something to drink? And I put your straw in it. <laughs> Look how nice you are. <laughs> she was a very sweet and great person and a great friend. So I think this would be something great for the both of us to try to get together and get to know each other better since we haven't been on each other that long. The word on the street is you've been a hot mess since you got to Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> What's I been going on? Next, I've just been working extremely hard, focusing on my hairline and trying I to find location a location for a store. Is this yours? Yes. This is yours? It's mine. The hairline's going great? Mm -hmm. Good. It's better. It's better. It's tremendously better. But right now, I'm trying to find a hair store location and just trying to figure out exactly what it is. You gonna like. open up another store? Yeah. So it's going to be yeah. like a physical store? Okay, that's what's up. Yeah, because like my online is like really taking over right now, so I need it to where people can have access to actually yeah, coming in. Yeah, I say your sale, you've been extending sales and stuff. Extending sales and extending coins, you know. <laughs> <laughs> extending coins. I have some new people that I want to introduce them to because I think since we're all new to Atlanta, I think it'd be great that we get around different people. But Q is the type of person that 
he don't like mess. So we're just gonna hope that I can do the wrong thing by asking him to come to this event. So what's been new? What's going on? <laughs> Why so much drama in these streets? Why, why, I mean, you fresh here. Why, why you not getting along with people? Well, I have an open mind and I like to speak what I think. Last year, I spoke upon what I knew, and what I saw, and what I heard. Child word on the street was, I don't do hell, I don't sell hell, I don't, I don't know. Mm -hmm. So why do you feel like there's so much like negativity surrounded by your name? Like, why people come for you so hard? Well, I'm gonna say this. Okay. Two bosses can relate. Okay, y'all okay. Or working the boss can't, so. <laughs> you can't have the employee and the employer. Like, who, who should I be concerned about? You know. I don't really hang around anybody, however. Exactly. You know the Devon guy. I don't know, a, you know anybody personally. But we did not see eye to eye at all. Okay. At all. Over a simple catfish situation that I mentioned, I said he didn't like his picture. He blew up the situation more than I did. But everybody else thought I blew up the situation. They thought you blew up. Only because I killed every little situation. I mean, I don't know. My thing is, if you know that you don't like catfish, why are you upset? I'm not sure how I feel about Jay in this circle of people who he claims doesn't do anything. I'm just confused of why he's hanging with these people. Okay, outside of him, who else is in this group? What else is going on? Um, you know, Cameron, me and him are working on a friendship. Okay. And Scott, we talk sometimes. But you don't tell me what I'm doing this year. I'm giving bitches jobs. <laughs> you're gonna help me. You're gonna help me. We're gonna make well, everybody work for me us. No, job. no, I said oh, okay. these bitches. Oh, we're gonna okay. make them come work for us. Okay. Work for us. Work for us. What, what's going on? How they gonna work? So for you us? finna uh, put them on your radio talk show. Ooh. <laughs> I'm finna let Devon cook for some things, some events. Oh, I'm gonna have Scott God. come and help manage my hairline. Maybe have camera come style for some things. That's what I'm finna start doing. Just like putting bitches to work. Putting bitches to work. So that's toasting and putting bitches to work. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be the boss in order to be a boss. I know that's And right. a boss gives people jobs. So I'm putting the girls to work this year. The fun, any event that I have, you're catering. Cameron, you're catering. Cameron, any piece I need, you're gonna make them. Lyric, any dance moves I need to know, you're gonna show them. Mattel, any shades I need to wear, a king. I just don't know. Okay. Sky, you might want to be my manager. A girl like me have a lot of things going on. She needs everybody to help her and put her together. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to help you guys get to where you need to be. Because I'm here and you're there. And I think I'll boss you if you get there. OK, boss. <laughs> OK, <laughs> let's go. Oh. Coming up on Chasing Atlanta. OK, so I'm having this event where they got that here on my Instagram, his name is Montiel, and he's having this get together like a Christmas type of lounge type uh, situation. Y'all don't know if y'all ever met Gardini? Whoa. So you didn't tell me you was coming? I, to I told you, Devon, like, my best friend wanted me to come support him. If you do not that, fuck with me, how did I prove one day, you, that I you can't come the, the next day and decide that. you want to fuck with but me. I'm so I'm going to make sure that my best friend doesn't look stupid in these streets. So me being a best friend, I told my best friend what happened. So he relayed the message to my best friend, like, oh, I um, tell that bitch to whoop de whoop de whoop you know, keep it cute. or but, right. but I'm doing, I'm doing my best friend a favor. Freaking super exciting. I have my friend Jay, I, and Eric here with me too. I mean, it's a lot of people outside, so I'm ready to come through, see what's going on. I need tone, cute face, nice smile. I need a nice waist. I don't need nothing straight looking sloppy. So, we're gonna get into this and see what we got here. Your man wanna taste his flavor. Then do me a favor. So, what you gotta do for me though? Your man wanna taste his flavor. Then do me a favor. You 
gon' eat it now or later. Your man wanna take it, your man wanna taste, 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 taste this flavor. Then do me a, do me a, do, do, do me a favor. Your man wanna take it, your man wanna taste, 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 taste this flavor. Then do me a, do, do, do me a, do, do, do me a favor. So it was kind of what I expected. You know, I had some good models, I had some not so good, but you know, I picked the people that I need for my show. We're gonna make them do what they need to do and get on this runway and serve my products. So today I actually decided to pop up at Cameron's model call. He don't know I'm coming, so right now since he told me that he had cancer, I thought it would be a great idea for me to pop up, show him my support, and hopefully that I can see where his special line is going. Hello, oh, sir. No problem, Eric. Hey, what's going on? How you doing? I'm good. What's your name? Oh, so I just been working hard. Why you ain't getting well? Yeah. I don't think you're talking about me. Nah, we ain't gonna talk about it. If anything, we don't critique, you know, the positive. Right. You know, it's So, they could make it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, they, they could make it. But, you know, the show must go on. You know, I can't stop the show for anybody. I mean, I would love for them to be here, but they didn't come, so. So, Cameron actually introduces to this area guy. I'm actually going to invite him to this Christmas event that me and Montel is putting together and hopefully he can see a different side of me. So, we're just gonna pray for the best Lord. Okay, so, I'm having this event with this guy that I'm here. Mm -hmm. He's here on my Instagram. His name is Montel. And he's having this get together, like a Christmas type of glam type uh, situation. Sure. He's giving away like this family, I guess they want to say home and stuff. Okay. So it's like a six year old child and his mother. And so y'all have to buy him toys. Okay. Um, but I need you to bring you're not gonna talk to anybody, but I need you to relate the messages. We're gonna have some other things that put together. We're trying to get everybody together. You know, it's a new me, new, new, new year, new year. Okay. the nice and sexy me. That's fine, yeah. <laughs> So Jalen ends up inviting me and Eric to a Christmas event that's coming up. Uh, he said something about charity. So I'm like, okay, Jalen, you know, this a new Jalen. You know, he doing a little charity for the kids or it's gonna be some drama. Cause last time this group got around with each other, it was catfishing, people getting finna get drugged in a jacuzzi. So hopefully this is really about charity and we all can just come together and you know, have a good time. Everybody seemed like they're going the positive route. And, you know, I met him. And I will say that he actually, cool. I like him. I really do like him. And I think everybody kind of just about getting that bag. Well, I mean, I'll see you there. I'm going to let everybody know I'm getting there. Yeah, I'm going to definitely come. I'm going to definitely come to support. We'll be there, so. Make sure. And watch out for cookies from the girls in town. I, I don't know. Wait a minute, but it's some new girls in town. But some of them are like here too. Some of them are the camouflage for you though. So we gotta just watch yeah, everybody. I'm not worried about nobody. We so. gonna we gonna all be good. Though. I think it'll be real though. Yeah. You know, it's coming together. And it's not about no. us. It's about the family. Right. But well, we're gonna keep it positive right. and do everything. Thanks, Thanks for everybody. Love. Nice meeting you. Right. Nice Thanks for coming. Thank you. Just think about what you. Oh, I Ooh, woo! Merry Christmas, baby. We love. So today is the finally day, the event finally, thank you Jesus, that it really, I'm so happy y'all, it, it felt, it felt for I'm telling y'all, everybody came through, the place looks beautiful, like I'm just so excited. I've been waiting, oh so So I walked into the Christmas party and I felt very Christmassy. Maybe if I maybe I saw balloons. It was cupcakes. I was like, okay, this is cute. There was only one bottle of wine on the table. <laughs> Jalen reached out to me to invite me to an event that he's partnering up with the Feather Fizz Morning Tale. So I'm super super excited to just kind of be partnering with guys doing a good deed and giving back to the community. So 
I get to the Christmas event that Jalen invited me to that he said he was hosting. So I see everybody. I see Akeem and Sky and Devon. I don't see Jalen. I thought he was supposed to be hosting this event. I don't know where he is, but I got introduced to this guy named Martel and Gardini. Y'all don't know if y'all ever met Gardini. Hey, yes, nice he's from Miami. Nice to meet you. Hello. Hey, yes. nice to meet you. Yes. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how you doing? I'm good. Yeah. This is my so, first time officially meeting Gardini, but I did follow him on Facebook. I appreciate that. Upon pulling up to the Christmas event, I noticed that Devon's boyfriend was hanging outside. And prior to coming, Devon and I had a conversation his boyfriend is supposed to be at work. So I'm trying to figure out, is he here to surprise Devon or what the fuck is his reason for possibly being at this event? I feel like something is about to go down. As I pull up to the charity event, I see my boyfriend running around with the kissy faces and hey, I'm like, what the fuck are you doing here? So you didn't tell me you was coming? I, to I told you, Devon, like, my best friend wanted me to come support him. I told you that. Okay, but don't you think that I should know that you was coming or not? Yeah. Right? You're not mad, though. Yes, I am. I'm not mad. Just seeing you here has just caught me off guard. It's like, okay, you supposed to be at work, but then I show up with you being amongst all these other individual people who I don't really know and it's just like okay you're here I don't care babe okay that's your best friend I understand that so something just not sitting right with me on why the hell is my nigga here for one reason bitch I don't even like your best friend and he don't even like me so bitch you should not be here supporting your best friend you should be here with me fuck that I mean, just, uh, I'm gonna be on my best behavior as long as they on their best behavior and gotta snap Nobody, okay? Okay. I'm okay. okay. like, sorry. Hello, sir. The queen has made it. Mister, I'm not coming to the evening. <laughs> How you doing? What's up? What's up? How are you? Did you bring me this delicious How are you? Oh, this is mine. This ain't for you. What's up? How you doing? Fine. Hello, Zoli. Hello, girl. You're so late. Well, you know the queen has some girl back. Hey, Zoli. Oh, yeah. New friend. Hey. How you doing? Oh, hi. Nice to meet you, Q. Yes. Thank you. You too. Devon, you couldn't show up to my meeting, but you can show up to your Christmas event, honey. Like I told you, you you can't run away from me. Did you think I was not gonna show up? I'm here, so hopefully we can talk. And just put this shit to pass because, honey, I'm tired of talking about it. I'm tired of everybody asking me about it. You ain't that goddamn important. So let's just put the shit to the pass and let's get to fucking work, okay? Oh, hey, hello. 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 Okay, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. 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 i am it's been a long time coming. Um, honestly, y'all, I just really want to tell y'all thank you. I never in my life seen a, such of a big outcome with just such a short time. Was he supposed to cook for the he event? He was supposed to cook for the so event. Did I not, so he did not cook for the event. So for me, it's like if that's my friend and I don't know them, and then it was like all the threats and y'all wanted to come and fight him, I just told him that I felt like he needed to get out of that situation. You want to fight who? Oh, y'all want to fight? So, you know, this is the first time me and Jelly Line has really been in the room since the reunion. So, you know, I guess it's 
time for us to just like, you know, put the beats aside. Let me let's let me hear what he has to say. And hopefully he can hear how I was hurt and we can move forward. How is everything? Everything's going great. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. Um, it's been a long time coming. Um, I feel like Woo. I've grown over, you know, the past situation. Um, I don't hate you at all or anything like that. Hopefully, you know, we can start fresh on a new slate and just let the shit that happened in the past be the past. Well, that's what I wanted to sit down with you too because it's kind of like, for me, like I said, I didn't go in having an issue with you. I honestly did not. I think where my frustration came with you was that whoever told you certain things about me, it was just like, okay, why is he lying on me? You know what I'm saying? Versus then, yeah, I said something about you, but it was like you was throwing stuff that you didn't really know about me. That's where my frustration came because it's like, at the end of the day, like in real life, y'all can go back to somewhere that y'all know that y'all gonna get. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. how you gonna eat? Wet, like, my business how I eat and how I feed my family, so I just felt like you were coming at me to something that could tarnish me even even more so it's kind of like yeah i said that but it's just like i don't have no issue with him i said it, but it's kind of like why are we still on the topic and it just made it seem like everybody just made it seem like i was just trying to stay on that topic but i really really wasn't it was kind of like at the reunion it was like i felt like you was trying to get a reaction out of me and it's like why give why give him that reaction when it's it's not even worth it so it was just like i've grown and i'm just actually in a better place a better space and it's like I don't have anything against you. The only thing I honestly want to do, I just want to help everybody win. And that's the only way, I, that's like, that's, that's what I just want to do. So, I actually had want you to cater the event. However, we can never talk. But anything else, honestly, that I have one on for, I do want you to help me with this. Because I do want to promote everybody's brand. Because I just think that's the only way, if we're all coming together and we're all trying to chase something, then that's where we all need to be at some point. Yeah, we're going to have like some type of disagreement. Yeah. But at the end of the day, that's what I'm here for, this way, especially with this event. I just want to help everybody, and that's why I'm here in 2018. Like, no drama, no nothing. Just I'm here for it. I'm here for it. So, I was like, I apologize. The reunion, I was a bit, you know, cuckoo <laughs> in the head. And I do apologize if your father was there and me saying those names. I do apologize for that, genuinely. Um, hopefully, we can start over, like I said, and let's get this money. And be like that. Right. Can I get a hug? <laughs> okay. Finally! Finally! Oh, Jesus! I was like, what to expect? <laughs> yes! Look who made up, Jesus! Look who made yes. up! Yes. Woo! Just like the man that call. Right, wrong time, okay? <laughs> so, finally, we came to an agreement. An agreement. An agreement. And guess what? We are going to move past it. The whole catfish situation was really, really stupid. Huh, I'm just so happy that we moved past this. And I don't think he actually really knows my heart and how genuine of a person that I am and can be. So, we're going to just see how things move forward and hopefully that it's genuine, it's sincere. But I still mean what I say when I say I'm going to put him to work. Now, can we eat heavy and be married? Yeah, we can do that. Okay, <laughs> Um, honestly, y'all, I just really want to tell y'all thank you. I never in my life seen a, such of a big outcome with just such a short time. This mother has been through a whole lot within a little bit of time, and honestly, to get everything like look at these gifts, and y'all came through. But um, this is okay. But basically, you see how it, it don't take that much to do what we need to do. Okay, so I want to make this a trend. Everybody's trending with the furs and the minks and all that. Why can't we trend to help people as much as we can when we got it? You know what I'm saying? I didn't have it. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, I lost a lot of my stuff in being here because I came with things. And then for you, love, you know, whatever happened, just know that God gonna restore you like 20 times. So, so don't let where you are now, you know, affect what's gonna happen later because God got something greater for you. And just how we all came together today to support you and be here for you. God will do that times like 100, you know yes. what I'm saying? So just keep believing God and keep in faith. And you know, this is going to be one of the best Christmas you've ever had. Yes. So, here, here. And I don't know, I don't, wait, I don't know. Can I get it quiet in here too so I can just do this prayer for her? Everybody bow y'all heads. Everybody throw hands in the Yeah. Father God, I come to you today just with so much joy and just so much happiness. And you got exactly what I asked for for Christmas. I didn't want nothing materialistic. This is what I wanted to happen and you making it happen. God, I just want you to keep watching over her and her family and everything she got going on and just know that we are doing this for our, from our hearts. 
and nothing to play for what you are coming to do. We made it here, God, and I want you to make it to every word, everything that she needs to be and where she needs to be, God. Yes, God. We know you have something for her, and you know you have something for us, and I'm so glad you brought us together today. So as we leave off these doors, God, make sure that everybody, and I mean everybody in here, get home safe and have a wonderful Christmas and everything they got going on. Please, God, make sure they prosper after this. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 I ain't feel no love, so that's why I stopped what I was doing and got me a manicure. I ain't feel no love for me. Why you ain't feel no love? What's wrong? The girl was just, you know, what's the issue? Yeah, well, well, everybody was introduced to Let me tell y'all what God came down to did, child. God came down to deliver I was about to say, you the, the poor child. You, you know, he done came to deliver his attitude. You know? You're a divine yeah. We made up. We ain't friends. We can be cordial. But now, my yeah. now the game is on. I can play it. Well, I feel like I you. I feel like you got some going on anyway. I feel like it, it just. I'm just. With yeah. Do you feel genuine? Because yeah, you just feel like you I'm just genuine. said it to do it. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. I want to move past the catfish situation. However, I mean, can... she looks like her pictures now. Sure. Okay. Oh wait, wait. wait. However, wait, however, so, I ain't a girl. That, no, that's why. No, I however, girl. Yeah, I'm girl. Help me. <laughs> I'm not girl. I had to move to the side because I don't, you don't know what's going what's on. What's wrong with you? Why are you so tense? You, oh, no, okay, no, no, no. I'll be honest with y'all. Like for, for so when I was like introducing myself, you know, I didn't have a problem with anybody, but it was like when I was introducing myself, it was like, you know, I seen people like rolling their eyes, and Ooh. it was like, you know, I seen Sky like turning around, the phone was rolling her eyes, and <laughs> you know, and I was like introducing myself. So it was no shade, but it, I, you know, I was genuinely. You know, saying, hey, I'm this person, you know, here's a little bit about myself. But girl, they wasn't, you know, receptive to who I was, so bitch, I got a manicure. Hello? Well, what do they do? Sat down and drunk. So you were trying to introduce yourself and let them know what do you do? I thought you was asking what you do. You know, the same way Jaylon had, you know, he wanted to know what do they do. Do y'all cross fields and like industry? Girl, they work the nine to five. Take away the girl. Yeah. They work nine to five. So, I mean, there's, I don't really know what they do. This is how I started. So, he asked what do you do? You know, I was like, 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 you I think the phone's turned off. And you let the apology go that quick and he didn't even show up for the first no, uh, and he no. didn't And he didn't no, cook no, for the no, event. No, oh, he was no, supposed to cook no, for the event. No, I tell you, but he, this is the thing. My thing is, I'm not going to keep arguing over something stupid. Mm -hmm. Okay? So if we're going to argue, I'm going to give you something to argue. Right. Yeah. However, he is somebody that I can possibly walk past and say hello, but we're not going to be. You know what I'm saying? So like, hold on, hold on. So y'all had the event together. Was he supposed to cook for the event? He was supposed to cook for the event. So he did not cook for the event. He didn't cook for the event. And you apologize and you let him go with no, a free no, apology no, 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 at the no, event? No, no, because listen, if I don't do that. Did you pay him for the event? No, listen. Uh -oh. If I don't do that, I won't be able to get to play my games and trying to play. What you trying to I say? Said, I didn't, you didn't hear what I just I'm said. I said something that's unhealthy. Oh, so, so, yo, so you wasn't You're genuine. No, I'm genuine. I'm genuine to be cordial. I'm genuine to be cordial, but I'm not genuine to be like, oh, we're friends. I don't see nothing wrong with that. What's the issue? I see a problem with that. No, it's not. It's, I'm trying to help him promote his business. What's the problem? But he didn't like, show up and do his business. But, he no, but, this, but what I'm saying is, I'm going to help him. Hello. I'm going to help him. So what do you mean? If you're trying to help him, and then the, the one time you do pay him to come, he, he didn't. But show I didn't up. pay him the time because he didn't. Oh, he so didn't he, he didn't come to sit down. Yeah, he didn't. Oh. He didn't know about it. So oh, so he didn't. You know, so I gotta get to the next. Oh, I gotta, I gotta okay, play like okay, okay you know, we called the dance okay. with the next situation. He okay. said he's willing to to like cook, cater for all my events. So okay. you know, I gotta get into the next. You know what I'm saying? I gotta play smart. Okay. So we're cool, true. I'm gonna put you to work. And if I mean, if that's what it is, then it is what it is. So why do you feel like you got from Scott? I mean, you know, when I was here, you know, I was introducing myself, and you know, I was like, "Hey, I'm Gardini." Okay, well, we're gonna start over. Cause you know what? I ain't got time for this. Yeah, I just ain't feel like nobody accepted me and receptive. Cause he keeps feeling like you and Sky ain't speaking. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. I mean, I don't know him to have an issue with him. It's just apparently my name is in his mouth. No, no, we do. We, 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 no, that's not my sister-in-law. That's not my sister-in-law. That's, that's for one. We never had a conversation. We never had a problem. No, we did have a conversation. The conversation, the problem that I have with him is I never had a problem with him at, in the beginning. The problem that I had was when he started dating my best friend. Who, well, Scott's here, who, so now we can figure out what no your problem. Scott issue is. Right. You know what? We're gonna figure it out. Let me finish. Mm -hmm. So I never had a problem with him. So when a situation occurred when he was dating somebody else and whoop de whoop, whatever happened, that's that's the beyond the waters. But he had said because I'm taking it for my best friend. So I'm gonna make sure that my best friend doesn't look stupid in these streets. So me being a best friend, I told my best friend what happened. 
So he relayed the message to my best friend, like, oh, I um, tell that bitch to whoop de whoop de whoop, you know, keep it cute or but, right. but I'm doing I'm doing my best friend a favor. Devon and I don't share one body, we mm -hmm. don't share one mind. He's his own person, I'm my own person. Do you know? I do me. I give everybody the same opportunity. The only thing that I ask anybody here is that if you have a problem with me, make it known to me. First and foremost. Because I'm gonna make it known to you if I have a problem with you. So for me, it's like if that's my friend and I don't know them, and then it was like all the threats and y'all wanted to come and fight him, I just told him that I feel like he needs to get out of that situation. Who wanna fight who? Oh, y'all wanna fight? That, that's, this is how ugly it was going. You get what I'm saying? Oh my God. So, I don't know. This is the thing. I, didn't, I never I heard of that. I don't oh. know. Are I you don't the boyfriend? Know. This is the best friend. Yeah. Uh, boyfriend. The boyfriend? Best friend. Oh, the best friend? Boyfriend, that's, best, that's best friend. friend. That's my best friend. That's my best friend. At the end of the day, <laughs> why are you standing on this side? Yeah, that's my best friend. But that's your, that's your. Boy. And, I'm, and I'm gonna be here for my boyfriend at the same time. But like, I, like I told, like I told Devon, as a best friend, he didn't do nothing. He didn't do nothing to the bomb besides stick up for his best friend. I think you being a boyfriend, like you are, like the person that needs to squash this, like. And that, and that's what I, and no, 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 no shade. I guess that's not to put, not to put, my, not to put our personal business in. But this is what I've been telling my best friend because they've been yeah, fucking like, with each other for four months. I've I never it. met her for four months, you know so I felt like, why were you hiding me you know, you know, you know, you for four months? You, you get what I'm saying? Next time on Chasing Atlanta. He really likes you, and I don't want to put him in a situation because I have been putting him in a situation. I don't need nobody to tell me speak for me, oh, do anything for me. Yeah. I'll do anything. For, if I have something to say to you or anybody else, I don't need nobody to speak. Now, with the, if you do not they, fuck with me, how did I prove one day that I you can't come the, the next day and decide you want to fuck with but me? But I'm all these promises that she made, like girl, no tea, no shake, girl. There was no food there. I, I would have expected eating her, you know, yeah. you know, like Jill's parties, but the, the food's always cold. Mm -hmm. So I oh, would. You went to one of the parties? Yeah. Oh, hey, I'm so lost. I party? went to one of the parties, girl. They had cold mashed potatoes and cold meatballs. When I walked in with Jayla and me and everybody, it was just like, I do have questions about that. What, what questions you got? I mean, I just heard y'all were supposedly dating. Who, Jayla? Yeah. Um, I know that you mentioned something before getting some reviews, like some bad reviews or something like that. Jalen Aaron hair collection. This is a hot mess. I heard that Montel don't really find you, bitch. That's fine. I mean, what's the issue? Because I heard I was a fake and I was a snake. So I'm just trying to figure out the snake is out and I'm just trying to figure out what's the issue. Just, just oh, shit. What's y'all tea with the whole Jack thing? I want to know how the fuck. Did anybody think that I would text Cameron or text that shit about Cameron? Did I not hear you? When I asked you. Did I not hear you? When, when you I asked you. When you asked you. But you know, that's how you are really here. And I'm glad that you're here too. Yeah, I'm glad we're all here because we all didn't know so, what to about yeah. what's the situation. No! No! Stop her!